good. Hey guys. Hey guys. All right. Cheese dogs and cheese steak stuffed peppers. Um, I'm gonna let Kaki tell you guys what she's got going on first, so I could get down my greens and I could chomp into my uh, my uh, my glizzies. I guess <laughs> is the popular saying for them. Yeah, yeah, glizzies. So I have cheese steak stuffed peppers. So in here, there is mushrooms, onions, green peppers. Um, there's some cheesy rice that I made myself inside of some roasted red peppers top with mm. some Swiss cheese and some cheese sauce. What's up Will? Hello, Abby How you guys doing tonight? All right, so I remember that hot dog idea I was telling you about kind of took it to a different level So it's not exactly what I was thinking, but hello Jacqueline, but uh Good thing I like hot dogs and I'm going to be doing more of these hey, kinds of dinners. But I picked up Nathan's Coney Island <clears throat> cheese dogs. They're rolled in pretzels. I never had these before. And I rolled them up in some cheese, put some chipotle pico de gallo in there with some sour cream. And then all four of them are laying on a beautiful green bed of lettuce. And for shits and giggles... And I just wanted Cheetos. I got a I got some Cheetos too. Yeah, some Cheetos. <laughs> What's up, Matthew? Hello, Marks. I need those dogs. <laughs> I miss so many people. Hello, guys. Yeah. What's up, Chastity? Pick J. Finally, see you guys live. Welcome to the show. I hope we're not a disappointment. <laughs> Pick I J. I hope not. <laughs> I think this is your first time on YouTube, Pick J. So how do they? T I didn't taste them yet. I gotta finish my vegetables first, and then I'm gonna get into them. I think, <coughs> like, mm. I don't know how <coughs> these hot dogs are, right? And I don't know how it's gonna. I don't know how a hot dog is gonna taste with pico de gallo and lettuce and sour cream. So I'm uh, worst case scenario. I got Cheetos, so Aww, I'm okay with that. Oh, thank you, Mark. I miss what Khaki's having, but it looks amazing. Cheese steak Thank stuffed you, Will. peppers. Will. Cheese steak stuffed peppers. So I I've always I've made stuffed peppers with cheese steaks before, but these are different. Did you explain to him what you did to him? I or no? did. Oh, okay. Alright, well I definitely did. I don't think either one of our dinners are gonna be a disappointment. Oh, um, and Will sent me an Instagram request. I messaged him back with that recipe. Oh, okay, because I still didn't get anything. Hey, Khaki Jamie. Mm, dinner looks yummy. What's up, Christine? Uh, hello, Christine. How you doing, girl? I am so freaking hungry right now. <laughs> Go in. Dig in. You got six of them. I've got four hot dogs and Cheetos. So. Ooh, they're cheesy. Okay. Then you guys know me. I get a hot dog. I get, I get a wiener in my mouth and it's like I can't stop. I just... You know what I mean? I do more eating than talking because hot dogs are one of my favorite foods. Um, I oh missed. My God. One. I I meant that it was it was a man. I know that. I don't know if it was YouTube or TikTok, but I know I missed you, so I apologize. <clears throat> I try to say hello to everybody. Yeah, so do I. But I miss a whole bunch of people because Jamie was talking. I didn't want to interrupt. <sighs> Thank you, Will. Got a babysitting job tomorrow, Friday. Tomorrow to Friday, two brothers. What's the age, Abby? <laughs> what are you gonna be in for? Mm. You might be in for some some uh, stuff, girl. Depends on the age, right? Not all boys uh, that need babysitting are bad for the babysitting. Listen, I'd rather babysit boys <laughs> than babysit girls. <laughs> boys are definitely easier than girls, in my opinion. All right. Are you looking forward to the movie, The Iron Claw? Yes, I am. What is that? A movie about the Von Erichs wrestling family. Oh, it's a wrestling movie? Well, it's a very sad, true story. Um, that is probably going to be something I go into. I go. I never go to the theaters opening night. Iron Claw. Uh, maybe I'll see if Emmy wants to go. Because uh, I know you're going to fall asleep. You're more than welcome to come if you want. But it's, um, I'm going to Well, gee, thank you for making me feel included. 
<laughs> well, I didn't want to say I'm just going to go with Emmy, and then you're not. You literally know. just said that. Yeah, because I know she was going to want to see it. You have a habit of falling asleep in the movie theaters. But hey, I think if you've seen the trailer, this might be something you would like. You don't even have to be a wrestling fan. If you watch the trailer, you're probably going to like it. Looks like it's going to be good. Yes, it does. No onions on the hot dogs. No, I have onions in mine, though. Oh, my goodness. This is very good, though. I babysat them before. They're good, but they can be a handful sometimes. <laughs> you know, Abby, when As it, can most kids. When it comes... No mustard, no sauerkraut, Lisa. Um, good evening to the nice couple. Good evening to you. Abby, you know, most... Depending on the age limit, right? Like, I remember... Every babysitter, with the exception of one, boys tend to have a crush on the babysitter. I was in goo goo gaga love with my one babysitter, Dawn. And I'd wound up working next to her um, years later. And I don't know for sure, because I never, I never jumped on the opportunity, but I think I might have had a chance. It's like a five year age gap. This is way before Kagi, obviously. Five year? How old were you? I was... So I technically didn't need a babysitter, but I was very immature. I was probably 13. She was 18 or 19. Something like that. What's up, Cassandra? Hence why we will never have a babysitter like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't. I know, I get it. Can't chance that. Nope. How old are you guys? I'm just curious. Well, Can you hold on? Hold on. We'll tell you. Would you mind guessing first? You probably had a chance. I think I did have a chance because she left a sign on my car <laughs> telling me that I rock. <laughs> on your car, you were 13. No, this is years later when I wound up working next to her. Yeah, it was like a little flirting thing. Did I miss a, a sex story? No. No. Oh my goodness, no. I would have been in my glory, though. Oh, thank you, John. Yeah, my dinner is freaking delicious. 13? Listen, if you're a kid and you have a crush on your it's babysitter, and you get lucky, that's like the ultimate dream. What's up, John? 35 to 42. Very close. You're like right in the middle. Actually, I shouldn't say that. We're right in the middle. I'm 38. Khaki's going to be 40. I'm February. 39. I'm going to be in February. I'm 39 Maggie's right 39, now. 39, I'm 38. But yeah, we're close. We're like hitting that <laughs> midlife crisis. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say that. What would you say is a midlife crisis? What is the age around? Oh, your son's my age, Lisa. I wouldn't say a midlife crisis has to be like... Usually people 55, get 55, 60. Is it? All right, that makes me feel better. I was thinking it was like around 40. Listen, up, I Easter? already feel like I'm having a crisis. <laughs> yeah, no, that's why I'm saying like I think. Um... <laughs> I'm thinking 30s. Hello, Shirley. How you doing, girl? Midlife is 40s. Okay, so I'm getting there, Dano. Uh, I wouldn't Used say I'm having 40, a midlife it's older crisis. Now. Great ages. 40 is midlife. Yeah. I think, uh... Oh, thanks for making me feel better. Yeah, you don't look 40, though. Appreciate it. <laughs> John's gonna be 51 in a couple of months. It hits hard. I guess it does. 40. I'm 44. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm about to be 40. I'm not 40 yet. I'm yeah. going to be 40 in February, but... Yeah, the way this year... The way this year... The way this... Listen, last this past four year... Four years have been going by like it's nobody's business. <laughs> You're the, the last of the dying breed. <laughs> yeah. Well... I guess we are, to be honest. It's kind of scary what this new breed of uh, cats are coming in. In a whole bunch of ways. Taste. 39 in November. Oh, your birthday's very soon. Mine's Yours is February, February 13th. 13th. That's oh, very nice, right nut pad. Me, nut pad. <laughs> Excuse me.
Yeah, on February 29th, guys, if you don't know. We Which most of you do know on February 29th, so that's like super special. We joke a lot about ages, but guys, girls, it's just a number. Don't let it get to you. If, you, if you're so... Oh, here's Molly. If you're so uh, hell-bent on that evil number you're about to turn, just stop crapping. That's what I'm going to do. Listen, I'm going to be 39 for like the rest of my life. I'm going to start going Doesn't backwards. Doesn't matter how old I might be. I'm going to be 39 again and again and again and again and again. You know, I looked at myself in an elevator today, Kagi. Mm -hmm. About to go up to the 10th floor. And it's one of those elevators that has a very shiny reflection. And I'm like walking up to it. And I see myself like clear as day. And I got no headband. My hair is like kind of frazzled and wrecked and flyaways and all that bullshit. And I'm kind of sweaty. And I'm just looking at myself. I'm like, hey, you do look old. <laughs> I said, the nighttime with the makeup and the hair and the headbands, it does de-age you a good five years. <laughs> you know, I do have a funny story to tell. Only because I came across like this one thing on TikTok where it like, had like this aged filter on it. Mm -hmm. So I did mine. And I'm looking at myself. I was like, oh my God, I look just like my mom. <laughs> I literally look just like my mom. So I was laughing at it, and then our daughter comes running over. She goes, let me see what I look like. So I flipped. I, didn't, I wasn't recording anything. I was just, like, looking at the filter. And I flipped it to her, and she's like, oh, my God. I was like, I look, she's okay. like you, right? I look like my mom. Like, but you look like my grandma. And she's just like, oh, my God. And then, like, after, like, we're done, like, playing with the filter, I shut my phone off. And she's like, is that really what I'm going to look like one day? And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> you should have done that. Probably not. And I was like, well, one day you're going to get older. And yeah, you're not going to look like what you look like now. She's like, I'm going to look like that. And she starts hysterical crying. When I tell you his I believe hysterical you. crying. I believe like you. legitimate, like, oh my God, I'm going to look like that when I'm old one day. And I'm like, you're probably not going to look like that, but you're going to look old one day. Yeah. But not probably not like that. And I was yeah. like, that's a filter. Like, you can't go off of that. <laughs> I am, Abby. But yeah. like, I tried to like comfort her in the best way, but she was legitimately like so hurt, like, because she's just like so young right now. I'm like, why are you worried about what you're going to look like when you're like 70 years old? Who cares? Like. Like, right now, I'm like, huh, now I look old. <laughs> I definitely look older than I did in my younger years, but, like... You remember that popular filter <laughs> that was going around? I felt around so bad for her. Where it ages you? Yeah, poor kid, truly. Poor I kid. did that, and I shared it to my Instagram, and my cousin... You know the story. Mm -hmm. My cousin, Danielle, messaged me almost immediately. You look just like my dad, because I do. I look like my you uncle. Just, you look just like your you look just like him. <laughs> Made broccoli, broccoli cheddar soup. Very nice. You guys have... Yeah, you sunscreen. And she's like, will I look like that if I do skincare? I was like, if you do skincare, you'll definitely make it so, like, you know. You're not going to age as fast if you do skincare. <laughs> like, and I'm always constantly yelling at them, gotta have sunblock, gotta have sunblock. And, like, <laughs> and she's like... Skincare. I have to do my skincare. I was like, yeah, you have to wear sunblock too. Maybe next time, next summer, you'll listen to me when I tell you put sunblock on. <laughs> Marks said you have baby skin. Ring lights, especially with my setting that I use it at, does something very special to me in khaki, and it does make us look like it makes us look like we have like no wrinkles and stuff. Oh, we I do. got wrinkles. Like, oh, I, I get, have wrinkles. I could get up. <laughs> I've I, noticed them. I could get up close and personal. And you guys would be able to see a lot, like, the blemishes and stuff that most people have. The way everything is set, And I don't... I never did it on purpose. I just prefer... I look better on camera. Um, with the lights and, and everything. If I were to... I bet you... If I invited you guys to come sit in my living room... And you didn't know it was me about to walk down the stairs... You'd probably be like, who's that? You wouldn't know. Wouldn't even recognize me. No. <laughs> ba -ba 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 -ba. Unless like you saw that. my feet. And then you'd be like, oh, that's Jamie. <laughs> Hello, my milk. How you doing, girl? Hey, Munchkin. Friend is 95, looks 55. Olive oil. Only on her skincare. Really? Yeah, let me tell you something. My sister is... 
I'm not even going to tell you her age. She's older than me. And she's she like almost 60. She's not 60. I didn't say 60. I said she's almost 60. She's not almost 60. She's closer to 50 than she is 60 if we're rounding up and down. It doesn't matter. She looks like she's 30. So. Yeah, exactly. She looks freaking phenomenal. Good Italian jeans. I guess so. No, I cannot. Munchkin, have you ever had the ones that I did tonight? These are amazing. Like really good. Hey, uh, uh, was it Cassandra that said the olive oil skin treatment? Yeah, I How believe How long that's... are you supposed to use olive oil on your skin? I'd, I'm someone that doesn't use any cream on my on my face. That's, you should always put some sort of moisturizer on your face. I use other stuff on my face. Not cream though. Hello, Kelly. Do you want to try the, this? I don't want to try yours, so don't worry about it. But I think you're gonna. You can try mine. I don't want it. Okay. Because I have, I have these and the Cheetos. Maybe I will try it, but I want you to try mine, and I want you to give me an honest opinion on how good these are. Look at me talking like I actually made the damn hot dogs. It came in a box. I just fancied the shit Jamie up with just, some cheese you know, and some Jamie just, you know, gourmet the shit out of those hot dogs that came out of a box. All he uses olive oil. Hmm. Maybe something to look into. Olive oil? Let me tell you something. I used to work with this woman, this older woman, and I used to tell her about how bad my dry skin was. And she's like, just rub some olive oil on it. You'll be fine. And she used to literally, like, take some of the olive oil at work and just rub it on her hands. And she literally had the softest hands. You know what works for me? Some Windex. Windex on anything. Clears it right up. That Greek movie, The Greek Wedding... Remember? Mm-hmm. She uses Windex for everything. Oh, this is good. Oh. Oh my god, that's really good. Told you. So one of my favorite things about my recipes, boys and girls, is anybody could do them. And she swears only uses olive oil. I believe it. And Nell? Was she Italian? Well, no, she was not Italian. The woman that I was speaking of, she was not Italian. These might be better than my favorite, which is Sabret. But maybe it's like all the flavors dancing around in my mouth that's making it. The cheese. I think that's what it might be. The pico. The lettuce, the sour cream. And the pretzel. The pretzel. Um, I'm a sucker for a pretzel. Yeah, and no ketchup. Yeah, Nathan's, Cassandra. Nathan's um, Coney Island pretzel dogs. My milk, what you got in those stuffed peppers? So in my stuffed peppers, my milk, I made... Um, Philly cheesesteak stuffed peppers. So at the bottom of my pepper, I can't hold it up right now because my hands are gross. I can hold it up for you, Munchkin. So in the bottom of my stuffed peppers, there's cheesy rice, and then there's the shaved beef that Jamie mm -hmm. used yeah. last night. Pop it in here. Along with some green peppers, onions and mushrooms, some Swiss cheese, and then some cheese sauce. Munchkin don't do Swiss cheese. Why doesn't she do Swiss cheese? Because she's fucking nasty. I don't know. She does Swiss cheese. No, what she are you doesn't. talking about? No, she doesn't. She don't like Swiss cheese. Oh, well. She doesn't like blue cheese. She don't like Swiss cheese. She doesn't like blue cheese. All right. Ramon, you in here, brother? Vouch for me. <clears throat> Munchkin's probably not even listening. She does not like Swiss cheese. Oh, damn, those are a little bomb. These are freaking Hello, Michelle. delicious, my mouth. What was your famous wrestling voice? Who was your all-time favorite wrestling? Um, I went frozen on YouTube. That's why she's not getting back to me. Now we're about to get... There we go. Favorite all-time? Jamie is right. I don't like Swiss cheese. Or blue cheese either. Okay. See, why don't I remember you not liking Swiss cheese? I know the blue cheese part. Macho Man's my all-time favorite. Right now, at this moment, for the last 
<laughs> long time. Macho Man is my all time favorite. If I had to pick one wrestler, um, you know, I was talking. We heard, someone came in last night asking about you have to pick one, Brett or Owen, and I said I couldn't do that. I was thinking about that question a lot today. Why? Because I think about wrestling all the time, and I'm like, okay, if I had to watch either Bret Hart matches for the rest of my life or Owen Hart matches for Hello, the rest Allison. of my life, judging by only because Bret had more, you know, um, more, uh, what's the, what's the word? Um, Bret had more, like, uh, televised slash pay-per-view slash, you know, encounters on TV than Owen did, probably Bret. But I love Owen Hart as well. Yeah. My favorite version of Owen Hart uh, is 94, 95. That was when, that was when, in my opinion, he was at his, at his top of his game. When's the last time you make those taco bagel sandwiches? Since D2, since the last time I did it. That's a, that's a funny story behind that. That taco bagel sandwich. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the story? No, I don't. I was not feeling very good. And I was not even going to do a... I wasn't even going to put out a video. I was just going to have two bagels. And then Khaki was making tacos. And like spur... Like last minute. I'm like, I bet a taco would be good on a bagel. And then I asked Khaki. I'm like, Khaki, have you ever seen a taco on a bagel? She goes, no. I'm like, I'm going to do it. And it blew up. It went viral. And it was very good. But I haven't done it since. <coughs> no, that was just that one time. Mm -hmm. What's up, Allison? That was the wrestling days for sure. Yeah. It's funny. I forget more of the food ideas that I've done in the past. To where I have to go, I have to scroll back years. I'm like, holy shit, I did that. I don't remember because Jimmy Jam will always be like, "You should do this," and sometimes I have to. You have to go back and like think reference. real hard. Like, did I do that? I think it's something I might have, I might have done before. Yeah, some things I'm just like, I feel like you already did that. Yeah. That's why I always say, like, you know what a feeder fish is? The little baby fish that make, that are just food for the bigger fish. I always looked at my uh, my social media account as me being a feeder fish for the bigger accounts that have the millions of followers and. Oh, good night, John. Take my shit and they make it even better with better a camera equipment. Sometimes they'll take an idea of mine and make it even better. Hey, Monica. You're late. It's okay. Better late than never, girl. No, it's not. Better no, late it's than, not. Better late than never. I'm joking, Monica. How are you doing tonight? Gotta have fun. I love mostly all cheese. Swiss, it... Swiss, it's the taste. Don't like for some reason. Blue cheese, you guys know it's buffalo nuts. Definitely not try it though. Yeah, I know. Good night, John. I knew about the blue cheese. I don't know why I didn't remember about the Swiss cheese. I'll I'll understand the blue cheese part, but the Swiss cheese adds so many different flavors to a dish to the point where you don't even taste the Swiss cheese. It just gives you a special enhancement. Mm -hmm. I'm sleepy. How are you guys? We're doing good, Monica. I'm sleepy too, Carl. I'm good, but I'm always sleepy. I feel like today is uh, Monday for some reason, but it's Tuesday. Yeah, today definitely feels like a Monday. Very weird feeling day. Plus, I think everybody's still adjusting to the clocks going back. So I think it's that's going to be the rest of the week. Probably. I'm seriously curious about the blue cheese. You guys eat, though. You would try it. Listen, you eat gorgonzola in my mouth. If you eat gorgonzola, you can eat blue cheese. It's honestly not that much different. <laughs> it's really not no, that no, much no, different. No. She's talking about our special blue cheese. Oh. She would try it. It's like oh, the special blue cheese? 
Listen, my milky would love it. Hey, Munchkin, I wonder you if... You would love it. I wonder if we could ship you that. Mm-mm. No? Even if we package it in the freezer? Like a freezer thing? We don't have to get dry ice. Hmm. We would need dry ice for that. I would ship it to Munchkin. I would ship it to her, too, because I would want her to try it, but... Unless you're planning on coming to Long Island in the next year. Friday's a holiday? It is? What holiday is Friday? Veterans Day. Is it? Yeah, that's why the kids are off. Oh. Hello. Okay. <laughs> you knew the kids were off on Friday. I thought it was like pe 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 old teacher stuff related. Mm -mm. No. <clears throat> <laughs> Mm -hmm. What's up, long boy? Buffalo wings and blue cheese is good. Yes, it is. All right, long boy. I've got Coney Island cheese dogs. Oh, hello, long boy. And Cheetos, and then Khaki's got steak, uh, steak. Sorry, cheese steak stuffed peppers. Yeah, Philly cheese steak stuffed peppers. I didn't give a rating, Monica, but I'll tell you one thing: these hot dogs are damn delicious. I would go. Those hot dogs are really good. Easily a nine point three. I want to go higher, but I can't continue giving all my food high star ratings because it just... No, but you have to be honest about it. Oh, I'm being honest. Like, I, I, just I, would, I, I would give that a 9.5. Mm. Like, I personally, from the one bite that I had, would give it a 9.5. It is delicious. Yeah, Monica, that one's a good one. Yeah. That one's a really good what one. What did I do for dinner last night? I did the, um... Oh, joy. I knew it was burritos, but what the hell was, did I put it in? You did the, um, the buffalo, not the buffalo, the pizza, not, the pizza, uh, steak, rolls. There you go, steak and, steak. uh, pizza tortinos. That was good. And then the night before that. Yeah, that was pizza another roll good burrito one. was freaking good last night. Definitely would rather eat that over the ham sandwich. I'm popping out bangers this week, baby. And then, <clears throat> I used the rest of the steak that Jamie didn't use into my meal tonight, so. Well, that Waste was... not, want not. <laughs> no. And usually when I have, like, complete junk food, I try to have, like, a high... Not a high, but, like, a better dish on the side for me to eat. Tonight's just going to be a junk food night. Jamie's coming in hot this week. Oh, I am. I don't have anything planned for tomorrow. Yeah, I didn't even have this plan for tonight. I was just like looking at like what we have in there <clears throat> and like what I can just use. Because I hate when food goes to waste. Hello, big catch. What's up, pal? How are you? How doing? Are you? Yeah, I don't have any plans for tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. You know, when I think of Wednesdays, I think of work being somewhat decent meaning slow i think of aew dynamite and i always think about ordering a pizza that and i say that because if i eat a pizza for wrestling it's guaranteed that i'll do a sweet meal for you guys like a french toast and i haven't done french toast in a minute <sighs> clean out dinners are fun oh yeah Yeah, that's what I usually try to do. I usually try to like take like whatever's left over that wasn't used. Mm -hmm. I'm like, make something with it. The fruit punch that I have yet taken a sip of, it's right here. I'm telling you, I get, I get hot dogs in front of me. I'm like, I'm dialed in. <laughs> Wing Wednesdays. Wing Wednesdays. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see what I start, what I crave tomorrow. What is something we haven't had in a long time that you can go for? Because if you pay attention to us and what we eat, we eat a lot of the same stuff, just like in different, repeat, yeah, just in different forms. And I try to be as creative as possible. I, I'm, I explore a lot more than Kaki does, Bruh. but, but. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. 
I explore my taste buds 100% more than you do. What are you talking about? You oh, stick to when what you, you eat like. weird stuff, yeah. You eat weird things. Eat weird shit all the time. You eat <laughs> like weird every things. Single day I don't eat weird. Uh, first well, of all, I don't saying, eat weird things. But if we go to I a restaurant, weird. I was just saying, like, explore your taste buds. But if we go to a restaurant, you will order something safe, something that you think that you know you're gonna like. But if, when I go to a restaurant you, with you, yeah. I order something completely that I've never had before. Yep. I'll give you that. So one. don't tell me I don't explore my taste buds because I do. Well, how often do we go out? To I'm eat? just saying this is how it's always been with us. No, no, no. I'll, I'll agree with you on that one. I'm talking about at home because we never go out. Well, we never go out. That's, that's, that's besides the point. But when we did go out, I would always order something that I've never had before that mm -hmm. I wanted to try. Because I always like to try new things. Mm -hmm. So don't tell me I don't like to explore my taste buds because I do. Okay. And I like to explore my taste buds when somebody else is making the meal besides me. Hey, Nancy. <laughs> You eat more pizza than she, she does, does tacos. tacos. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, Allison? I think you might be right on that. Sushi sounds really good, Will. It's I think just you might be right on that. <laughs> I was about to argue for a second, but I'm like, no, he definitely eats definitely more pizza than I do tacos. So I was going to do tacos tonight, but I changed my mind. Or maybe I should do Philly cheesesteak tacos. Mm. Ooh. Keggy made her son tacos the other night, and he just wanted salad tacos. They look good. No, there they was meat good. in there. No, there was no meat in there. He did not want meat. The black Ooh. dog is Abby, right? No, that's Molly. That's Molly. Abby is the uh, chocolate lab. Abby's chocolate. She's and then very Lucky's rare. the yellow She's lab. Rarely down here. Is Lucky yeah. even down here? No, Lucky is not. But Molly's on the prowl. Molly is on the prowl. Give me a Cheeto. You go, girl. She's a good girl. Like, she'll, like, roam the cows, not snatch anything. How about Indian food? Tiki masala. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, Abby. I love sushi, too. Probably not. I'm with you, Monica. I love sushi. There's certain things like sushi, Indian food. We don't live near them. You guys have any good barbecue around? Mm -hmm. Only when Jimmy's dad makes barbecue. <laughs> yeah, no. Only when Jimmy's dad smokes. When he smokes meat. That shit's delicious. He smokes meat. Oh my god, he smokes so much meat. How about a pork roll, pork roll and cheese sandwich, or Taylor ham? I don't. I'm not a. I'm not a ham guy. Oh my no, no. Big Catch is like making a play on whether you call it pork roll or Taylor ham. Listen, we're from Long Island. We don't play that game. That's a Jersey thing. <laughs> yeah, we're not Jersey people. We're not Jersey people. You can call it pork roll. You can call it Taylor ham. What do we call Guess it? what? It's a bacon, egg, and cheese here. In Long Island, bacon, egg, and cheese is one word. <laughs> we don't play that pork roll, Taylor ham, sandwich crap. <laughs> well, pork roll, Taylor ham. Are they the same thing? They are. There are, they, well, in my opinion, they're the same thing. But I'm not from Jersey, and from people from Jersey, feel very differently about how you. How yeah, you, I remember how the you call it. stupid subject that was always <laughs> debated. I just never understood it. We're a bacon, egg, and cheese, salt, pepper, ketchup. End of story. <laughs> I will never have Taylor ham, pork roll on my freaking breakfast sandwich ever. I want sausage. I want breakfast sausage. Not Taylor ham, not pork roll. Don't really care. <laughs> Abby, that McDonald's. <laughs> We're from Long Island. That's beyond us. <laughs> that McDonald's, uh, I'm going to hold off because my sister in law. <laughs> does want to see me attempt to eat 10 Big Macs. Oh my god. Um, she she literally said she'd like buy you the 10 Big Macs. I know, that's why I said I'll hold off. But if she wants to do that... <laughs> she wants to watch you eat them too. <laughs> so we should plan a receipt right in between us. <laughs> you guys think I can eat 10 Big eat Macs? 10 Big Macs. The origin, the origin is very confused. 
Are you talking about the hailer? The, yeah, hail? yeah. I know. It's so weird. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> you guys hear that? You hear my knees I crack? actually love waffles and bacon. Me too. Ten is wild. Do you think I could do it? Well, I'm not a food competitor at all. But at the same time, I'm willing to experiment and do like a special show. And if you guys want to see me. You think you can me, kill 10 Big Macs? I don't know. I said six. Kaggy said six. My brother said eight. Um, I know I could Jamie do. Jamie likes to get bored. Jamie gets bored when he eats food. But it's it, the same thing. This would be a challenge. Over. This wouldn't be, uh, you know, and I wouldn't be. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing it super quick. I'd eat it, still talk. It would probably be an hour and 15 minute show. Here's the thing. The longer it takes you to eat something, the harder it is to eat. Well, I'm not going to be Russian. I don't want to choke. I'm not saying Russian choke. I'm just saying the longer it takes you to eat something, the harder it is to finish because you get full. Yeah. Because it takes 20 minutes for your stomach to tell your brain, oh, stop eating because I'm full. It takes 20 minutes. That I day. don't think 10, maybe 4. I said 6. Who said 4? Shirley. Jester? Shirley said 4. Do you know why I'm very confident I could do 10? Probably have a big stomach ache. Oh, I would guarantee that, Abby. Big ass stomach ache. I don't feel so good. Oh, yeah. I would probably... F I'm going to feel like shit the next day. But... <laughs> You're going to feel like shit immediately after. When did I come home with that stomach pain that I got? Not last week. The it was like before. two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. I always visit McDonald's if I have a sick day, right? It's my time to just, because I was going to sleep anyway, and food puts me out. <laughs> so Kaki picks me up, and then we go to McDonald's. I get two Big Macs, uh, a double quarter pounder, all have extra cheese, one large fry, one small fry. Then we stop off at 7-Eleven, I get two glazed donuts, and I get a bag of Cheetos. I ate everything. Everything. Every drop, every crumb. Not, nothing left over. And guess what? I could still eat. So, I'm not a math magician <laughs> about that. You're not a math magician? But your boy could eat. <laughs> he's not a math magician, but yet he's not a mathematician, so... I would be blown up like a... Like Violet and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> You're turning Violet, Violet. <laughs> you guys got to remember, I also do all this liquid yeah. before I eat dinner. I would be the same way, girl. I like, do the oh 10 Big Macs. I'm not going to be doing my Roll spinach. me down to the juicer. <laughs> Just roll me down to the juicer. Make me skinny. Make me flat. Let's go. <laughs> it would be fun, Munchkin. Six years of doing this, I've never done it. Exactly. Got to roll me out. <laughs> I think I said it before. You said it. You said it before. I said it. I didn't read your comment, but that's hilarious. <laughs> Great minds think alike. You're roll me up. <laughs> Jimmy, do it. I love to see that. McDonald's Big Mac showdown. Mm -hmm. I think Jamie's stomach has to prepare for something like that. No. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I just won't be doing my my be my beverages beforehand. You shouldn't do anything beforehand. I don't know. Complete empty stomach. I like eating a whole ass pizza. Would be similar. A lot of bread on the pizza. Yeah. Oh, eating a whole pizza is not hard. We've done it. We've I, both eaten. I've done it. I've done it too. I've eaten a whole pizza. You didn't. I did. With the crust. You don't even eat your crust anymore. I did it one. I did it one. Not anymore. I don't. But I did it one time. I've eaten a whole pizza minus the crust. I'm sorry. I'm not counting the crust. It doesn't count though. Does count. Uh -uh. It's a whole pizza. It's a whole ass pizza. And I was a lot smaller then than I was than I am now. So what are you saying? So you that was now? that was more of a feat because I was smaller. Yeah. Whole pizza, no crust is easy. Yeah, it's the crust that really. 
Okay, hold, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I ate the whole damn pizza. And I was a lot smaller than I am now. I was a fraction of my size. Alright, pumpkin head, you ready to go to bed? Mm. My inner dusty roads coming in on me. You call me pumpkin head? I'm gonna dusty punch, roads you. Would I'm always gonna say punch that. you in the head. Oh, pumpkin head. Punch you in the head. Ready? Mm -hmm. Are you not eating the last two? No, I'm full. Well, I guess we could wrap it up. It's okay, okay yeah. Marx. No, I did, nope. I know you weren't disagreeing with me. I'm just saying. It's fine. <laughs> There's no disagreement there. I guys, I bust khakis bald. Yeah. Everything. No, he breaks my chops all the time. With meanwhile, everything. It's meanwhile, what we he do. didn't even eat the crust either. So it's how we love each other. There's, yes, I did. No, I done. No. no. Somewhat. No. Yes, I did because it was a challenge. Someone, and it's not a challenge. Someone said I couldn't do it, and I did it. You don't remember how ballooned and bloated I was at? Then? Yeah, I wasn't eating all that crust. You oh. want to eat the crust? That's fine. But I ate the whole damn pizza minus the crust. <laughs> <sighs> and plus, I was doing it at work. I was eating a whole pizza plus crust at work. <laughs> you remember when I was going to that stage seven months ago, eight months ago? It was, it was. It yeah, was, that's right. You were. Oh. I forgot about that. Easily. No garlic knots, no oh, salad. I forgot. You were just eating a whole pizza uh -huh. at work. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, you're nasty. <laughs> you have to remember, Friday nights and Saturday nights when I'm eating pizza, it's not just pizza. I'm eating garlic knots. I'm eating salad. You do the Big Macs, Cacuos, and Tacos. I am down with that. Big Macs and Tacos. But I'll make my own tacos. I totally forgot how you eat the pizza at work. I was doing it like every... I forget that? I was doing it like every week for like a month. I remember like calling it in for you. Yeah. And then I would send <laughs> I, I would send a picture to you, like, and the kids. Like, was a... There was like bones. The pizza bones that were left. Nothing left. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, oh, there's Lucky. And here's Lucky. Late to the party. Good night, good night. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>